GLS welcomes you. Continuing with our special series, now we'll have MCQ on bank's balance sheet. Let's look at some of the important questions. Section 6 of the Banking Regulation Act defines basic functions of the banking companies, certain classes of business which are incidental to the business of banking which are permitted to be engaged in by banking companies. Option C, the business activities in which banking companies are prohibited to be engaged. D. All of the above. Answer is B. That is certain classes of business which are incidental to the business of banking which are permitted to be engaged by the banking companies. Next question. Section 8 of BR Act can be engaged in buying, selling or dealing in goods. B. Prohibited from buying, selling or dealing in goods. C. Prohibited from buying, selling or dealing in goods except in connection with the realization of a security held by it or in connection with the business of the collections or negotiating bills of exchange. So various hats worn by the bank being discussed here and lastly banks can sell or purchase property. Answer is C exactly the various hats that the bank wears. Bankers books include A ledgers, B day books, C. Cash books. D. Account books. All other records used in the ordinary business of a bank. All of the above. Multiple choices. 6. Answer is F. That is all of the above. Which covers almost everything what is mentioned above. Next question. The various items in Schedule 5 that is other liabilities and provisions in balance sheet form A includes bills payable, inter-office adjustments net, interest accrued, Others including provisions, total, all of the above. The answer is F, that is all of the above. In short, this question will give you a glimpse of the what is contained in other liabilities and provisions. Please keep in mind. Next question. The various items in Schedule 3 deposits in balance sheet form A includes demand deposits from banks and others, saving bank deposits, term deposits from banks from others, total 1 plus 2 plus 3 above, B deposits of branches in India, 2 deposits of branches outside India, C all of the above, D none of the above. The answer is C all of the above, again an inclusive answer which gives you a fair idea of what is being included. Next question, cash and balance with RBI includes cash in hand including foreign currency notes balance with RBI in current account and in other accounts. It includes cash in hand including foreign currency notes and also of a foreign branches in case of banks having such branches. All of the above. The last option. The answer is all of the above. Again an inclusive answer. So while doing MCQ keep tab on all A, B, C to understand bank balance sheet in a better manner. Next question. Which of the following are true about money at call and short notice? A. It relates to interbank transactions. B. Banks having short supply of money borrow from the banks having surplus money. Money is borrowed usually for 1 to 14 days. D. The rate of interest fluctuates every day and even within a day. E. All of the above. The answer is E. All of the above. Uh, just note here that the way MCQs are being structured, it's covering all the topics in one question so you don't miss anything. Next question. Which of the followings are true about advances? It includes loan, cash credit and overdraft. Loan is an advance which has fixed amount and fixed period. C. Cash credit is an arrangement where banks agree to lend money to borrowers up to a fixed limit against hypothecation or pledge of securities. However, the borrower need not avail of the whole amount in one go. D. Overdraft is an arrangement where customer is permitted to overdraw money in this current account up to certain limit against securities like LIC policy, FDRs, national savings certificates, quoted shares, etc. E. All of the above. So which are the following are true about advances? The answer is E. That is all of the above. Next question. Investment by bankers include government securities, debentures and bonds, subsidies and joint ventures, shares, approved securities, if others that is commercial papers, units of mutual funds, etc. The answer is G which is all of the above which includes 
all what is mentioned from A to F. Which of the following are SLR securities for banks? Shares, approved securities, government securities, debentures and bonds, A and D, B and C. Answer is F, that is B and C, that is approved securities and government securities. Next question. As per new guidelines, SLR and non-SLR securities are to be divided into categories held to maturity, available for sale, held for trading. All of the above, none of the above. The answer is D, that is all of the above, held for maturity, available for sale and held for trading as well. Next question, which of the following items is not part of a profit and loss account of a banking company? Interest and discount, net profit on sale of investment, postage, telegrams, telephone expenses, D, selling or dealing on goods. The answer is D, that is selling or dealing on goods. Liability for a partially paid investment in respect of banking companies is grouped under the head investments, other assets, other liabilities and provisions, contingent liabilities. Obvious answer is contingent liabilities as we have seen earlier that this amount is being due. The next question, in banking company, mature term deposit to be shown under demand deposits, saving bank deposits, term deposits, other liabilities and provisions. Answer is A, that is demand deposits. Advances given to a staff by a bank as employer should be included in other assets, advances, investments, none of the above. The answer is A, that is other assets. The list given below consists of various securities. Identify the security which is SLR security. A. Securities issued by local authorities. B. Shares. C. Bonds. D. Subsidiaries. Answer is A. That is securities issued by local authorities. Acceptances, endorsements at guarantees are shown as other assets, contingent liabilities, advances, D. Other liabilities and provisions. Answer is B. That is contingent liabilities. With this, we conclude this session. And in our next session, we'll have on asset liability management.